Hi folks, we're going to do a quick walkthrough of Spectral Workbench here. Uh, it's still under heavy development, so you may not be seeing exactly what I see here, but it should be pretty close. Uh, I'm going to jump right in and go to this Capture Online interface. And what the Capture Online allows you to do uh, is to actually directly from your browser interface with the spectrometer. So I'm, I'm actually clicking OK there, and you need Chrome 21 or higher, or Opera. Uh, hopefully other browsers will come along uh, soon. So Here's the spectrum. It's actually auto-detecting which end, which end is red and blue, so we can turn it off now uh, that it's detected that. And then what we can do is look at each individual sensor, or we can actually compare it. So I've already calibrated this, but I'm going to go ahead to the compare area, and we can compare it with uh, a xenon baseline. I'm using a xenon light, and I took a baseline uh, not long ago, um, so you can actually see the red is the baseline I took, and it's pretty close to where it was. Uh, what I'm going to do now is actually, I'm going to um, do that again, but this time I'm going to say use this baseline for absorption. Now when I click on this, it's actually going to subtract this reference line from the active readouts, and since they're very close, you can see it's actually almost the same. Uh, and now I'm going to take a, a petri dish of balsamic vinegar, and I'm just going to place it over the light. Now, you'd want to take a very consistent amount of, uh, you know, a, a width of the sample, but already you can see that this line here is the uh, absorption. Uh, it's what's actually being blocked actively by the material. So there you go. This is basic absorption spectroscopy using the special workbench, uh, and you can do it all online. If you want, you can hit save type in balsamic vinegar, because I've done this one before. And then you might say uh, uh, back lit with xenon. And it, you can see it's, it's got a calibration that it did six minutes ago, and it auto-associates that as the most recent one. You can calibrate as often as you like. When I hit save, it's going to save that spectrum right here. And then uh, you can actually compare it to the baseline. So there you go. That's a special workbench, uh, real quick. And uh, if you uh, go and look at the uh, YouTube channel, you can see also how to uh, do a calibration, or in the, actually in the help files as well. Thanks very much.